There is a power in grieving. There is a strength and a, a clarity and a lightning and a cleansing in facing up to the things that you're running from. There is great danger when you don't do that, when you run from the things that make you feel a bit icky and uncomfortable perpetually, when you avoid that which you don't want to face up to because you don't think you can handle it or you think that by facing it, it's going to destroy you. There is a sickness there. And if it goes on for long enough, rot can set in. Everything good about life, everything that is worth having is going to be slightly outside the comfort zone. And that might mean pain. That might mean some tears. That might mean doing things that you don't like to do or you don't want to do or that frighten you. I get scared. I get scared all the time doing this project. I want to be brave. I want to be a role model for bravery and for courage for people, but I get really frightened sometimes because it's scary, because there's a big responsibility that's placed upon me that, you know, I didn't really sign up for. But now that I'm here, I can't just abandon people midway through. I have to try and see it through. And that's frightening and it makes me anxious. I know that I need to be a certain person in order to meet the requirements of, of the role that's being placed upon me. And in order to be that person, I have to go through some discomfort. I have to go through some pain. I have to mature. I have to let go of some toys from childhood. I have to let go of some ideas, some very comforting ideas and beliefs and practices and behaviors. I just have to let go of them. And there's a grieving to that. There's a sadness to that, a deep, deep sadness that I'm going through right now that I have to in order to grow, in order to change, in order to be what I need to be and in order to just be healthy 